Many of my clients are considering relocating to Columbia from within South Carolina or from various places such as California, New York, Charlotte, Atlanta, the Midwest, or the Northeast. They often seek their last or second to last home as they settle in Columbia. In this video, we'll explore whether retiring in Columbia is your ideal choice. We'll discuss aspects like different communities, the local lifestyle, the cost of living, and the weather. By the end, I aim is to provide you with the information needed to determine if Columbia would be the perfect place for you to retire. So let's get started. As always, folks, my name is Jill Heydrich, your real estate friend in the Columbia Midlands of South Carolina. If you're looking at Columbia only, we have a population of about 137,000. When you explore the broader Columbia area, which includes both Richland and Lexington counties, the population is just over 725,000. Usually when I say Columbia or Columbia Midlands in my videos, I include all of Lexington and Richland counties. People in Columbia are known for their warmth and friendliness. Whether you're a local, a recent transplant, or you moved here decades ago, you'll encounter a genuine courtesy. Yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, where people hold doors for each other, embodying a welcoming spirit that defines our community. In terms of age demographics, the largest population here spans from 18 to 64, constituting around 62% of our area. And meanwhile, those over 65 make up about 15% of the Columbia Midlands population. Columbia is a vibrant and diverse community that welcomes all, fostering a sense of connection and warmth among its residents. Secondly, what is the community like here in Columbia? Well, if you find yourself living in downtown Columbia, the city's essence speaks for itself. Among its many attributes, you'll find an abundance of green spaces a vibrant array of restaurants, shopping districts, and a strong sense of community. Stroll to places like the Riverfront Park, the heartbeat of Columbia's charm. Many who relocate to the downtown praise its walkability. Within a 10 or 15 minute walk, you're immersed in the city's bustling heart. You'll encounter numerous individuals running, walking, and biking during the mornings and evenings. Columbia also boasts a vibrant art scene if you're into the arts or theater, you'll undoubtedly find your niche here. The city offers a welcoming space for artistic expression and cultural experiences. Downtown Columbia is also home to the South Carolina State House, several walkable commercial districts, restaurants, shops, bars, businesses, and the esteemed University of South Carolina, enriching the city's vibrant atmosphere. Logistically, Columbia is also quite easy to navigate. There are several major highways connecting different areas. Several other South Carolina cities are an easy two hour or even less drive away. For instance, from Columbia to Greenville Spartanburg, you take Interstate 26 West. To reach Charleston, Columbia, you can take Interstate 26 East. Interstate 20 heading west will take you to Aiken, South Carolina. And finally, I-77 North will take you straight into Charlotte, North Carolina. Not only is it easy to go to neighboring cities, going across town in Columbia Midlands is also easy. Richland County residents enjoy an average commute time of only 23 minutes, and Lexington County, 26 minutes. And they drive alone to work. Columbia's city planning has made navigation almost seamless, ensuring you can move around effortlessly and reach your destinations without much hassle. The cost of living in Columbia is generally around 5 to 10% lower than the national average. Property taxes in Columbia can range anywhere from $1,000 to $3,500 annually, provided it's your primary residence, while home insurance typically falls between $800 to $1,500 per year. Flood insurance isn't frequently required here, and for those in an HOA, the average fees amount from $300 to $600 annually. As of the current recording, gas prices are well below the $3 per gallon mark, is significantly lower than other states. For example, individuals relocating from California often express amazement at the substantial difference where gas prices there can exceed $5 per gallon, nearly double the cost in South Carolina. Regarding home prices, the recent average home price in Columbia was just under $300,000 last month, notably lower than the national median average of approximately $415,000. Home prices in Columbia tend to trend below the national average observed across the United States, making a more affordable housing market. As you can see, this data provides a snapshot of Columbia's cost of living. 
depicting a generally favorable affordability compared to the national averages. Well, regarding weather in Lexington and Richland counties, it's notably different from areas like Florida or even Myrtle Beach. We experience relatively moderate weather conditions here. Unlike the high humidity in Florida or the sticky ocean heat in Myrtle Beach and in Charleston. Situated at around 200 feet above sea level in this area, we're typically not affected by the significant impacts of hurricanes. While residual rainfall from hurricanes might occur as they move back out to sea, we rarely face the powerful winds or the substantial hurricane damage here. Flooding is infrequent in these counties and significant tornadoes are rare occurrences. Overall, the weather in Lexington and Richland counties tends to be fairly moderate and stable, although we do get hot in the summer. Where should you start looking for your next home if you're considering retiring to Columbia? There are various communities to explore catering to different budgets, needs, and conveniences. While Columbia area doesn't have any extensive array of master plan communities or 55 plus communities, there are notable options to consider. For those age 55 and older, several cottage style communities come to mind, such as the village at Sand Hill, Cobblestone Park, and Wood Creek Farms and Saluda Shoals each offering unique amenities and lifestyles within the Midlands. For those enchanted by waterfront living, exploring the Lake Murray area can be an excellent choice. The communities surrounding Lake Murray and Lexington, Irma and Chapin offer picturesque lakefront homes, serene surroundings and access to various water activities making it an appealing option for retirees seeking a tranquil lakeside lifestyle. If downtown living appeals to you, aiming for an area with excellent walkability and easy access to restaurants might be ideal. Downtown Columbia stands out as a vibrant and a highly walkable area, offering a range of residential options near diverse dining and entertainment venues. For those seeking a more exclusive living experience, gated communities might be worth exploring. The Lake Carolina Wildwood communities provide secure and upscale living environments with a focus on privacy and amenities tailored to the residents' needs. The Wood Creek Farms community also boasts gated sections, offering a serene and secure living atmosphere. Ultimately, whether you prefer the convenience of downtown living, the tranquility of gated communities, the allure of lakefront living around Lake Murray, or the unique offerings of cottage-style neighborhoods, Columbia presents diverse housing options to suit various preferences and lifestyles. Well, I hope you found this information provided has been valuable to you. If you're considering retiring in Columbia, I'd be thrilled to connect and discuss your options further. Feel free to text or call me at the number below or email me. I'm eager to meet and assist you in the retirement plans. I'll see you next week.